Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing you my thoughts on the British royal family and today I'll be talking about, mostly about Harry and Bill Simmons, the Spotify executive. He actually sold the ringer to Spotify in 2020 and climbed the ladder up through the ranks to become an executive and he really does not like Prince Harry it seems and he was talking freely on his podcast and referred to Harry and Meghan as effing grifters. Harry and Meghan and Spotify confirmed on Thursday that they had parted ways, nice way of putting it, after signing a deal which was said to be worth $20 three years ago for their production company Archwell. This was all part of Spotify spending a lot on podcasting. Lately, Spotify have scaled back, laid off hundreds of staff, and they are leaning more towards helping the creators rather than going for big talent. Simmons still runs Ringer, and he's also head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify. He just let rip. He said, the effing grifters, that's the po podcast we should have launched with them he said. And then he said, and I quote again, I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories, end quote. Well, the replies to this in, in, on Twitter are begging him to release the full story about his attempt to help Harry with the podcast idea. Um, let's see if he does. I think he might. It's of interest to everyone. The comments are flying on Twitter about this. And they were first reported by the big lead. So one of Archwell's podcasts was Archetypes. And this was hosted by Megan. This show was all about the progress of women in society and it didn't get a second season renewal. But they're saying that it could potentially resurface on another platform. This guy Simmons spoke about Harry last January. He said, and I quote, it was embarrassing to be affiliated with the same company. He also said, and I quote again, shoot this guy to the sun, end quote. And then he says, I'm so tired of this guy. What does he bring to the table? He just whines about SHIT and keeps giving interviews. Who gives a SHIT? Who cares about your life? You weren't even the favourite son. You just live in effing Montecito and you just sell documentaries and podcasts and nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you talk about the royal family and you just complain about them, end quote. Wow, he certainly voiced his, his true feelings. Another article, this is um, Opinion, National Security. The title is Hurricane Harry is bearing down on King Charles III. It describes this like a weather forecast. It says, and I quote, it is hurricane season again in the Atlantic. Although it is exceedingly rare, hurricanes, or at least their extratropical remnants resulting in strong winds, have battered the United Kingdom in the past. One hurricane of a royal fam familial sort already struck hard earlier this year in the form of Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And then it goes on to describe Harry as a torrent of air, gale force. Um, fueled by the clash of hot Montecito air, he exhaled. When, in a written statement, the self-exiled exiled son of King Charles III brashly condemned his father's government in the polar Arctic air of a British courtroom in London. Very clever wording, this article. I'll put a link in the description. 
Um, and it goes on to say that the destructive force of Harry's words was of a Category 5 nature. It says that Harry just breached an inviolate British, British convention whereby the royal family remains above and apart from the fray of domestic politics. It does seem that way. And he doesn't have any grasp on the gravity and responsibility of the affairs of state, as they declare. It mentions the damage that Harry and Meghan did to the Commonwealth and, how, and the UK's standing with it by allowing the implied accusation to hang in the air. It's true. There was so much good done within the Commonwealth when the Queen was reigning. From Harry and Meghan getting so excited during their engagement interview and really acting as if they were going to be the king and queen of the Commonwealth and that they were going to be some sort of, Harry was going to be some sort of saviour. Meghan was going to be his queen and they were, he did talk about all the, all the, about working with the youth and about everyone running around and very condescending, very patronising. He was sounding very much like an old colonial which he hates. Let's hope that guy comes up with the story because I think it would be good. Um, basically, he's talking about this now and people in the comments on Twitter are begging for this information to be released and they're saying that the American public are waking up to the truth about Harry and Meghan and they don't want them there. So, yeah, it, maybe it's a good thing because I think the UK are well aware and the US are becoming very aware. Right, I thought I'd finish off the end of this video by answering some of the questions or talking about some of the comments that you made to my last video, which was about Harry and it was entitled, It's Who You Know, and asking if Harry is being protected regarding his visa application form and his drug taking admissions. There are people that are desperate to keep him in the States. One person says here, I, I'll bet that Harry never filled out any paperwork to enter the US and that he entered just as a visitor who never left. I agree with that. I think it's very possible because when it comes down to royalty, they're very highly esteemed. The Queen didn't carry papers. The Queen didn't, I don't even believe the Queen had a passport. She definitely didn't carry any money with her. Her face was on the money anyway. I can imagine any of the British royal family just walking through, especially from the, the immediate family. This person goes on to say, that's why the DHS can't, cannot provide any documents because there are no documents. Do you know what? I think that's one of the best comments I've had. I think that's true. I think there probably are no documents. And then this person goes on to say, has was given privileged treatment because he is a prince. I also don't believe they will deport him. They instead will give him automatic landed immigrant status, again, more privilege. Brilliant comment. Another person says here, their new PR team is pulling them back and trying to make them stop doing ridiculous things. And to a point, it's worrying, I think this person says. It looks like wiring. But Meghan can't be told what to do for long because she thinks she's right about everything. They need to disappear for a couple of years and start doing real charitable things. But for now, they just need to shush. This person says, Hello, Kelt. I would like to know who is helping Harry get drugs. Do you think M or Doria would do something desperate if H decides to leave M? It would be easier to make it look like H overdosed accidentally. Wow, that's pretty heavy stuff and but I wouldn't put anything past any of them and I would imagine someone in Harry's position would not find it difficult to obtain his supply so to speak. I wouldn't like to say who is helping him but I, I think he's enabled probably by all of those around him. Another person says here Harry I believe never applied for residency. If you have residency you don't need a visa your residency status is renewed each year until you decide or leave or become a citizen. At least that's the way it was for my family. Of course, I'm not royal. And because of all the new immigrants, the laws may have changed. This person goes on about their personal 
experience and then says there is a waiting period now and proof is needed that the two are legally married and living in the same household. Yes, of course, they need to prove that their marriage is legal and there's a lot of debate around that. And living in the same household, I've been saying for many years that they've been separate and they come together for photo opportunities. Another person comments, Biden's days are numbered, Harry's days are numbered, Meghan's days are numbered, and they've done it all, all by themselves. Yes, I agree. With Another comment from someone says, the late Queen said she is evil one month before death, according to George the Giant Slayer. Well, yes, I believe she did say that, and I think she would know. Another person here says, I bet he has no visa application documents. Yes, I think so. Another one says, pretty sure he never filled out the form. Remember they came into the US in the middle of the night before the border was closed? Yes, I do remember that. I think I did a video about that a long time back. They snuck across, yes, just before the border was closed. Another comment here is, William was hacked 150 times. Catherine, 145 times. Harry, nine times. Yes, Harry was jealous. Absolutely, I didn't know those figures. Thank you for that. Another person says that didn't they fly in the middle of the night on Perry's private plane? I bet Harry never applied it at all. Your thoughts? Yes, I remember that. Again, I've done a video about all this stuff. So you'd have to go back through my old videos to, to find it. But it definitely was in the middle of the night at the height of when everything was locking down. And I do believe because Harry, well, he's now the son of a king. Then he was the son of the heir to the throne. But yeah, I think it did make a difference. And I think his attitude would make people doubt whether they should question him. It's the same reason, it, although it's a totally different subject, the same sort of reason why the late Jimmy Savile was able to go into any of the palaces because there were times when he was invited by Prince Charles, but there were many times when he just appeared and turned up when he wasn't supposed to. And he just obviously gave the gave everybody the impression that he was allowed to be there so i think if somebody does that most people don't question it and yet someone is not going to lose their job by being tough on security and questioning someone i wouldn't have thought i would have thought they should get a raise if if they come down heavy with security there are lots of comments um with a lot of political toing and froing and I won't be getting into that. It's not my country. But I will say one thing. Harry is playing a part and he is doing exactly what he's meant to be doing. That's all I can say. And yes, it will all be coming out and I cannot say any more. And it's not because I don't know any more. It's because there is so much going on that affects more than just Harry and it will all come out. Another thing that is fairly obvious to anyone, and that is that Harry is a puppet, and he's a willing puppet in more ways than one. There are some comments criticising me for saying that Harry is extraordinary. I was being sarcastic. I was meaning he's extraordinary, out of the ordinary. You can be extraordinary and it could be a bad thing, in other words, extraordinarily lazy, you know? That's the way I meant it. I don't know if it was a good choice of words, but yes, I was being sarcastic. So let me have your comments and please subscribe if you haven't already. And because as I said, YouTube keep unsubscribing my subscribers and I'm getting close to 100,000, which will be great. I'll be able to celebrate with you all. Also ding the bell so that you'll get the alerts and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Bye.